Hello, friends. You know, a lot has happened in the past week, and I wanted to share a little bit with you. A few days ago, I posted a video on Facebook in which um, you could see uh, families and individuals who are in extreme need of food waving white flags. So these white flags indicate that they are they need some help. They need some food. And when neighbors see those white flags, uh, some of them will go out and help the family. And not too long after that, my friend Chris, and then later Dina, who is my mentor, uh, ended up sending me a message saying he wanted to donate some money so that I can buy some food for some of the families. And I'll be honest with you, I was a little hesitant because I didn't come to Guatemala to do any kind of service project or community work. I came here simply to re continue to recover uh, from a mental health breakdown that happened about a year ago. Uh, I, I, took, I rallied some of my neighbors with me. Uh, grocery shopping, purchased the food, bagged it up, and then um, we ended up uh, agreeing on where we we're going to deliver the food and all that stuff. So it was a little bit of organizing. Thing. A few days ago, um, I was jogging uh, up the hill. There's a hill here with the cross on the top. Uh, and I sat on a bench that kind of overlooks uh, the streets. And as I sat there and meditated, I saw an elderly Kachi woman with her traditional outfit carrying a huge basket on her head. And uh, she started walking up the stairs where, uh, uh, where this hill is. And so when she got near me, I walked up to her and she kind of jumped back a little bit. I think it's because all my tattoos here in Guatemala, tattoos are associated with gangs. And so I hope I didn't scare her. But I said, ma'am, ma'am, I just want to know if you need food. And she said, yes, I need food. Um, I actually came here to my friend's house to eat, but we're in desperate need of food. And so uh, I said, well, um, you know, I'm going to be delivering uh, some food tomorrow, which is, you know, today. And uh, she gave me her phone number. And then she asked me, why are you doing this? And I said, I'm doing it because I know that people are in need, but also I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be obedient to God. And so she said, you, are you a Christian? Uh, I said, uh, kind of, I'm, I'm not the best Christian ever. Um, and, and she started laughing. And then she said, no, you are an angel. And I said, no, ma'am, I'm a gargoyle, uh, you know. So she ended up uh, praising God, hallelujah, and speaking to uh, And then she gave me her phone number and I continued my way. And I hope that as you uh, think about your time uh, in your context, that you would allow your context to pull you in because I believe that those that pulling in effect is really the hands of the Creator drawing us in to care for our brothers and sisters, regardless of uh, differences in culture or ethnicity. It's about helping one another. And so
Dale, saluda. En los Estados Unidos. Esa es la iglesia. 